Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. It is November 22, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we will all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. China's digital yuan could disrupt the global financial system according to simulation. November 22, 2019 Harvard University a stimulated war game held by previously high-ranking officials in the United States government has revealed what could be a North Korean missile takeover through China's digital currency. The meeting held at Harvard Kennedy School projected a few years into the crypto space and highlighted the looming danger on the dollar's dominance. The attendees stimulated a U.S. national security meeting that will be held in 2021 with each playing a specific role. According to the setup, this happens a few days after North Korea has leveraged the CBDC coin to fulfill its missile test. Neha Nerula, a digital currency initiative director of MIT, said that this not only poses a security risk but a probable phase out of the dollar if the U.S. does not keep up with innovation. The competitiveness of the U.S. dollar is a matter of national security. Nerula added that U.S. might fail to weaponize the dollar as a sanction tool if it loses its current position as the world's peg currency. The dollar peg advantage. The United States of America has enjoyed its powerful position for a very long time given the success of its currency, the dollar. Recent developments by China and Russia however indicate that this might soon change as both are slowly moving away from the dollar. China's digital yuan has sparked similar conversations by financial regulators across the globe. Russia has even joined China's cross-border interbank payment system, CIPS, in a bid to avoid U.S. influence. Gary Gensler, the former CFDC chairman is however optimistic that the dollar will retain its status for a foreseeable future before any country can duplicate such an effective currency design. The Swift Sanction Enforcement Debate Towards the end of the simulation, the Principles Committee created an event where North Korea hacks SWIFT to push for the CBDC adoption. Despite this, former Treasury Secretary, Lawrence Summers, stood ground that U.S. should focus on improving SWIFT's efficiency as opposed to building a digital currency. Summers literally downplayed the other financial giants' currencies. Let's be honest here in this situation room. Europe's a museum. Japan's a nursing home and China's a jail and we don't need to worry about those currencies being some kind of major threat to us. In conclusion, the former high-ranking officials supported a stronger swift for sanction in favor of a U.S. government-controlled digital currency. Next article of interest. Protests in Iraq, the killing of demonstrators near the central bank and Sistani calls for accelerated reforms. November 22, 2019 Baghdad. Reuters. At least three protesters were killed on Friday and about 30 others were wounded by Iraqi security forces as they blocked protesters from reaching the heavily guarded central bank, witnesses said, while the Shiite authority called for speedy reform of electoral laws to break the current crisis. Al Jazeera correspondent in Baghdad said that hundreds of demonstrators managed to drop the first concrete barrier leading to the central bank located in Al Rashid Street near Al Arur Bridge in central Baghdad. The correspondent added that security personnel prevented the protesters from dropping the second barrier to reach the bank, and the barrier is only a few meters away from the central bank. He pointed out that the security forces used tear gas and live bullets to disperse the demonstrators and prevent them from dropping the second barrier. The area witnessed yesterday's skirmishes of security forces and demonstrators tried to reach the central bank, killing seven protesters and wounding more than 70. The Reuters news agency, citing medical sources and eyewitnesses that seven demonstrators were killed and dozens wounded in suffocation cases yesterday in several areas including the bridges of al Sink and Arar in central Baghdad. Next article of interest. A high-level delegation from the Kurdistan regional government visits Baghdad to meet with Abdul Mahdi and two ministers. 
2019 to 22 November 11 hours 56 minutes and 17 seconds Kurdistan region of Baghdad. It is scheduled to visit a high-level delegation of the Kurdistan regional government on Saturday, the federal capital of Baghdad to discuss the issue of oil, financial budget for next year in addition to other notable. According to the information available, the delegation of the regional government will visit Baghdad tomorrow and meet with Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, Oil Minister Thay Mergadbin, and Finance Minister Fuad Hussein and will discuss the issue of oil and gas and the general budget. The delegation consists of the Minister of Finance and Economy, Awad Sheikh Janab, the Minister of the Region, Khalid Shwani, the Chief of the Cabinet, Omid Saba, and the Secretary of the Council of Ministers of the Region, Amin Rahim. Next article of interest. Source. Political forces discuss three names as an alternative to Abdul Mahdi. 2019-11-22 to to Sputnik, a source familiar with the Iraqi government, to the site of Sputnik, Russia, that the political forces began discussions on finding an alternative to the current Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, pointing to the introduction of three names of figures, one of which was rejected by those forces. The source said in an interview with Sputnik that the political forces are currently beginning to discuss finding an alternative to Abdul Mahdi, and there are names for discussion for almost three personalities, pointing out that most of the political forces and even the party close to Iran, now convinced that things have reached the stage it requires the need to find an alternative to Abdul Mahdi. The source declined to disclose the names on offer saying only that one of these figures is known to some extent politically, but was not approved because of his affiliation with one of the parties, and that discussions are continuing about the other names. He added that some political forces insist on other proposals as the need to choose an independent personality does not belong to any of the existing parties, and continued, my expectations in the end of Joel Mahdi will resign or be dismissed and go to early elections, stressing that there is a remarkable position of religious authority in the Friday prayer sermon is under pressure, especially since the political paper presented a few days ago does not meet the ambition and there is no confidence in its implementation and will not convince the people. The witness of Iraq since the beginning of October slash October last, mass protests to demand better living conditions and the fight against corruption and dismiss the government and dissolve parliament and holderly elections and saw these protests killing more than 300 protesters and security men, and more than 15,000 patients. Next article of interest. Alatafi clarifies the laws that Parliament intends to legislate in the coming sessions. 22 November 2019 Baghdad, Abbas Alatafi, a member of the Coalition for Change, said on Friday that the Parliament will vote in the next few sessions on a wide range of laws. Alatafi said in a statement to the information that there is a strong movement within the House of Representatives to legislate the laws of social security and health and retirement and the federal court in housing and the abolition of slums and the construction and service council. He added that the next sessions will witness the legislation of the important laws aspired by the citizen and achieve the demands of the demonstrators, as most of the laws mentioned were worked on and there is only a vote. He pointed out that the coming period is abundant legal legislation, in conjunction with the demands of the demonstrators and the public pressure at the moment, which prompted Parliament and the government to intensify their efforts to advance the reform laws. Next article of interest. Delphi, there is no immunity for officials before this law. 22 November 2019 Baghdad, the deputy of the Victory Coalition Al Delphi, Friday that the law from where you will include all those in power and those who have become outside, pointing out that officials will not have immunity before this law and will be held accountable by the judiciary and integrity for what they possess. Delphi said in a statement to the information that the law from where you will fight a lot of cases of corruption that have continued since 2003 and to this day, and is a bullet of mercy in the body of many politicians, ministers and general managers. He added that, Parliament is determined to legislate all laws that eliminate corruption and spoilers, to be recovered the money they stole and returned to the state. And that, the law from where you get this, 
will not keep any immunity to officials, and will include large and small in the state, and will make Iraq on the right track to maintain public money and will give the judiciary more room to issue verdicts against spoilers. He stressed that, the judiciary and integrity are responsible for the implementation of this law, where the files will not be referred by parliament, as it will be confined files, where you get this, to include all of them without exception. Next article of interest. Nassif. Most of those involved in the licensing rounds are linked to political confrontations. 22nd November 2019 Baghdad. A member of the Parliamentary Integrity Committee, Ali Anasif, said on Friday that most of those involved in corruption files of oil licensing rounds and currency auction are linked to political confrontations, pointing out that the Parliament has a committee specialized in this file and will provide evidence to the judiciary to play its role. Nassif said in a statement to the information that there is a committee within the House of Representatives on the rounds of oil licenses where the Integrity Committee to legislate laws to recover the smuggled funds in integrity and where to get this, in order to build a legislative base to help open the files of corruption and accountability involved. She added that, the Parliamentary Integrity Committee has formed committees on the North Oil Company, which includes companies Car and Kian and licensing rounds of oil. She pointed out that, most of those involved in licensing rounds and corruption of oil companies and currency auction linked to political bodies and fronts, and the Integrity Commission will certainly be close to these interfaces, especially as the street power. Next article of interest. In a secret visit, U.S. official warns the Kurds of the continued support of the Mahdi government and proceed with Iran's plan. November 22, 2019 Baghdad Today an informed source revealed on Thursday, November 21, 2019, the secret visit of a U.S. official to Erbil in the past two days, indicating that the official was angry at the support of Kurdish parties to the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. The source told, Baghdad Today, the U.S. official met with senior leaders in the region and appeared angry at the recent Kurdish actions specifically the continued support of the current government and proceed with Iran's plan to maintain the government of Abdul Mahdi. He added, Washington promised the Kurds that all their gains will be retained without prejudice, provided that they withdraw their support from the current government, adding that, the U.S. official warned Kurdish leaders not to comply with their desire. The source pointed out that, Washington gave the green light to the U.S. media to reveal the corruption practice by some leaders of the region, specifically parties in the family of the leader of the Kurdistan Democratic Party Masoud Barzani. The president of the Kurdistan regional government, Masrur Rabarzani, called on Wednesday, November 20, 2019, to give the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi an opportunity to achieve the necessary reforms for the Iraqi people, indicating that they do not bear all the guilt alone because what happens as a result of the accumulations of previous years. The demands of the demonstrators are legitimate and right, and we support them. The Iraqi government should take their demands seriously and respond to them and secure a better life for them, Barzani said during a meeting on the sidelines of the Middle East Peace and Security Forum at the American University in Dohek. He pointed out that, what is happening in Iraq we expected for years and the current government alone does not bear the guilt for everything that is going on, but should be given a chance to achieve the necessary reforms for the Iraqis, pointing out that, since 2003 and so far has always it imposes itself on the Iraqi political scene. By virtue of its geopolitical position, if Iraq does not have its own strategy, it will always be subject to international and regional interference, he said. Earlier, Washington expressed its support for demonstrations and sit-ins in Iraq, and called for meeting the demands of the demonstrators and not confront them with violence. Next article of interest. Gibbon, Kurdistan may start delivering oil to Baghdad in 2020. 22 November 2019 Clarkomsh Press. Oil Minister Thay Mergadbin said the Kurdistan region could start delivering 250,000 barrels per day of oil to the federal government in Baghdad by early 2020. The oil will be delivered to the Iraqi oil marketing company, SOMO, 
which will export it via a pipeline to the Turkish port of Sehun, Gibbon said in a television interview late on Thursday. He added, the provincial government is committed to deliver at least 250,000 barrels per day to the Iraqi oil marketing company, SOMO, for sale in Sehun, Turkey and resources, revenues, like other resources come to the budget, federal. Kurdistan's oil exports have long been a source of friction with Baghdad. The Kurds, who control Iraq's only northern pipeline, have been exporting oil independently since 2013. Exports from Kirkuk resumed in 2018 after a year-long suspension following an unsuccessful attempt by the region for independence. Relations have improved with the change of governments in Baghdad and Erbil, the capital of the Kurdistan region. As part of the 2018 and 2019 budgets, the KRG agreed to send 250,000 barrels per day to federal authorities in return for Baghdad's payment of government salaries. The minister said, the federal budget law of 2019 is very clear on the rights and obligations of the parties, the federal government and the government of the region, adding that the Kurds have not sent any oil so far. This could change in 2020, and I have told SOMO officials to prepare themselves to receive 250,000 barrels per day from the beginning of next year because this is what I understand so far from the understandings. Be sure to like, subscribe and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning, the link is in the description panel below. Tell them that Anarian sent you. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.